people are getting very angry that the camper is not the original of what it looked like. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. I just felt like I had to start off the video with that because Connor and I just got done watching the newer episode that came out. It was episode 8. It's like an interview with everyone from Tiger King. Um, let me know if you guys have watched that and what you think. It is quite an interesting documentary. Um, but anyway, today we are working on the dinette area. I showed you guys this clip in one of the last videos. Um, but basically... I just primed the whole dinette area. We had water damage on the right wall, so I knew we needed to replace that with something. Um, I just wasn't really sure what to do because we don't really have access to stores. So I went into the basement and I found some old bee boarding, wainscoting, just a bunch of different materials. And luckily all of these sheets were the perfect size for what we needed. So right now we're cutting this piece, which is going to go above the refrigerator because there was just some damage there and we needed to cover it and I just thought this would be a really nice finish to have above the refrigerator. Oh my god. What's wrong? You tell me. What? That's not going up and down? No, I like it like this. Okay, <laughs> it looks like ship flap kinda. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so I completely did not even realize that I didn't even think of what direction we were cutting this in so when Connor said that and it hit me that we cut it in the wrong direction he was trying to tickle me that's why I pushed him away um, but when I realized we cut it in the wrong direction I was just trying to play it cool and I was like no I wanted it like that because it looks like ship lab because I just didn't want him to you know get upset that we cut it in the wrong direction but I actually really do love it I think we're just going to glue this on, that way there's no nail holes or anything like that. Um, Gorilla Glue, the construction one works really good. Connor's text tone is so weird. Um, but I think it'll be fine for this little area. We'll get a piece of corner molding once we can go back. Actually, my dad might have some of that we could use. So after we did that, now we are cutting the Wayne's coating and we are putting that against these benches. I just felt like it would give them a really nice finish. Um, if you guys saw my last video, I took our old cushions and I also took an old drop cloth and I made cushion covers and they came out so beautifully and I'm still amazed by it. Um, so when we put the cushions back on, I realized that the Wayne's coating was all covered. So it's not that we did this for no reason because we needed um, a new material on it, especially for that right side that did have water damage, but you're not able to see it. So I think that we may just use the bottom cushion. That way you can see the Wayne's coating. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just have to see once the camper is done and we get everything put together. But like I said, we found some of these pieces in our basement. We had exactly two pieces of Wayne's coating left over from our bathroom um, that we did and they were the perfect sizes for this. And I think adding that into the camper, it just gave it such a finished, polished look and I love how it came out. So um, we also have this headrest that does go right here. Let me know if you guys have campers if you feel like you need the headrest because we're debating on not putting it back in. Um, just because we don't really know if we'll need it. I feel like I wouldn't lean all the way back in the camper, but maybe we would if we're using it to sit there and watch TV or something like that. So let me know what your personal experience is with that. But now we're just taking some of this Gorilla construction um, caulking and we are going to just put that on the back of the board and then place that onto the wall and I was trying to put all my body weight on it so it looks kind of weird in a minute. I was like leaning all the way against it. Um, but you just really want this stuff to stick. And at first we weren't gonna put any nails in it which is why I was pushing really, really hard. But then we realized we could just put a few at the bottom and a few at the top and then it would be seamless. And just like that, the damage is all covered up. We fixed everything underneath it, and I just think it looks so beautiful. Um, we're definitely in like the rough stage of the camper right now because things are just everywhere and such a mess. But now we're just repeating the process on the other side of the camper. Thank you. 
So now we're gonna put up the shiplap sort of looking material um, onto this part. And I think it looks really beautiful above the refrigerator. It just helps to give a little bit of extra texture to the walls because I think if they were all plain, it might just feel too cold and boring. So adding that really helps. And we decided not to nail that one in because this construction Gorilla Glue is crazy and it just holds everything really well. You really don't need nails with it. So we just taped it and put some things against it for it to dry. So now I'm just taking some of this paint. Painting this part was honestly a nightmare. So first I took a paint um, roller and I rolled it on and it just did not look good. It was way too textured um, and it was honestly just taking way too long. So then we had this um, little mini paint sprayer that we hadn't used yet and I thought this would be perfect because it was nice and small and compact and easy to clean and whatnot. So I tried this out and it was horrible. It was the worst, like paint was just spraying nicely in some parts and then dripping and it was a mess. We did um, have to thin the paint down, but it still wasn't working. So then we just took our handy dandy um, big sprayer that we actually bought last year when we painted the house and this worked out so well. The only thing that's frustrating with this is that it's very, um, large and it's kind of hard to clean and just takes a lot um, so it was definitely difficult but here we have all of the doors that needed to get sprayed so again we're just spraying all of this um, and they came out really beautiful I definitely would recommend spraying it it's a lot quicker once you have all the prep work done um, but yeah, it was great. So now we're just spraying all of these doors. Sorry, the camera footage is a little shaky. There was just paint like going everywhere. Um, people are always really concerned. We have proper, proper ventilation. We did, we had all of the doors open in the basement, um, but we couldn't spray these outside because it was just way too windy and too cold. So now the camper looks like a mess and it had been driving me crazy. So I decided it was time to just go through it and start cleaning it out. Um, definitely working in the camper is really tough because it is such a small area and if there's a few of us in there trying to work, it gets really hard and cramped. So I'm very excited for, um, I'm really excited to be working on the camper but I'm also really excited for it to be done so we can just move around freely without all of these extra tools and things. But Definitely cleaning out the camper helped and it just made it feel so much better and it also just looks so much better. Ta-da! Here's what it looks like all cleaned. I am so happy that it looks so open. And now here's what the dinette area looks like right now. In a minute, I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of what's going on with this area and what I wanted to do, but I just wanted to show you guys it, what it looks like right now. I wanted to pop in really quickly. Lily is like freaking out. Um, but I wanted to kind of just update you guys on what's going on with the camper. I feel like it's been um, very spread out and that's just because our schedules have been so hectic. So it's been really hard for us to both find time to work on the camper and everything that's going on with the camper right now. This is like very reminiscent of when we did our house. Um, a lot of the stuff I need Connor for or I need a second hand for. Um, so it's either him or my dad. Everyone's obviously really busy with their own stuff, so it's been hard for me to get things done. Once the camper is completely um, like sound and like all the walls are back up and things like that, it'll be easy for me to just film on my own and do what I need to do. But right now it's just been tough. It's also been really hard because we don't have access to things that we used to. We can't just run to the store and grab things. Um, as easily as we could have um, a few weeks ago or a month ago um, so we're also working with that we're just trying to use what we have luckily my parents have been um, flipping houses for so long so they do have lots of random things that we can use um, 
like at some of their buildings. We did just remodel our house, so we have a lot of extra, not a lot, but we do have some materials like in our basement that we've been able to go and use. So we're just trying to work with what we have. But I thought I would kind of update you guys on the design of the camper because I get this in like every video. People are getting very angry that the camper is not the original of what it looked like. The reason for that is because um, as you guys saw, I didn't really film all of this part too much because I was kind of just trying to help my dad um, take the walls out, but we found lots of walls in the camper that were actually wet. So we took a lot of those out and there was um, a spot on each wall that was wet. So we had to take it out. And at that point, we just figured we might as well just changed the look of it because everything was going to look so different anyway because like i said we had to take out the whole back section of the camper due to water damage um we did get a new roof so it's not going to leak anymore but then the whole other front of the camper was messed up so it just it didn't make sense to try to keep the camper original anymore because it wasn't going to be original no matter what we did and i have hannah montana on in the background i don't know why i just turned the tv on hannah montana was on um but yeah, so that's why it looks different. I do want to keep the camper feeling really 70s and go with like the cream colors and stuff like that. In my last couple videos ago, I did like a haul and some of the stuff was like in the blues. I'm going to try to make it feel um, more 70s. So for the dinette area, if you guys follow the Honey the Camper Instagram, um, I showed you guys a bunch of different wallpaper options and they were just really fun in 70s. Um, so I want to do that, but after researching more, the wallpaper was going to cost me like at least $400 just for that little dinette area because for whatever reason, they decided that eight square feet of wallpaper should be $50, which is ridiculous because most of the time a roll of wallpaper comes with at least like 20 square feet. So I think I'm going to hand paint um the wallpaper design on the camper walls or do some sort of like rainbow painting i don't know but that will most likely be in a couple weeks and i know a lot of you guys are excited for that because you guys have been wanting to do like hand painting things and you guys want me to, again to be your guinea pig so i'm very nervous but i have an idea of what might make it a little bit easier hopefully it looks good because i don't feel like having to paint over it if it looks bad but I'm excited for that. So that's kind of the update. Obviously the dinette area is not complete because like I said, we are going to be painting some sort of like wallpaper or something on it. And then we have to put in all the cabinet doors, we have to put the table back in. Um, there's just like a lot of random things we have to do to it. But um, I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what's been going on. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it means so much to me. I am just really excited to get going with this camper and work on new projects. So I cannot wait to show you guys what we're doing. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.